Hey y'all, welcome to the blog. My name is Daniel, and today I'm in Nashville. A lot of my friends know how crazy into country music I've been ever since I was 13 years old. So coming to Nashville is really a dream come true. You have the Grand Ole Opry, you have all this wonderful stuff here in Music City to take a look at. But I'm not here for any of that. I'm here for my wonderful friend Morgan's wedding. You might recognize her from my vlog on St. Patrick's Day when she and Ben came up to visit me up in Boston. The wedding and the reception were yesterday and it was absolutely beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. The church, the reception area, it was just absolutely wonderful. I flew down from Boston yesterday to come attend the wedding and I am here with Ben who came here from St. Louis. He had come here the day before to sexy a little bit but I had a class so I couldn't come which would be very very sad but in any case Ben picked me up from the airport we went had lunch it was really great and then we came to um, refresh up at the hotel and then we went to the venue and we walked into the church and there's nobody there like literally nobody and Ben and I are freaking out. We're like, did we read the invitation correctly? Are we here at the right time? Or what's going on? Then we noticed the, the groom, Evan, um, is up, up in front of the church. And we're like, okay, we're probably in the right place, but where are all the people? What's happening? Being the shy guys that we are, we just kind of like skewed at, like went back to the car, read the invitation again, just to make sure that we had all the information correct. We did four o'clock at this specific church at this specific time. So we came back to the church and then we saw Morgan. So we walk up and as soon as we get there, Morgan's like, get in there right now. And we didn't realize that the actual wedding was happening in a chapel adjoining the church. So we walked up to Morgan literally as she was about to walk out for the procession. And Ben and I were just like, oh my God. Well, congratulations, you look beautiful. Go get married, yay. So Morgan goes in, she does the procession. Uh, we sneak into the back and it's a wonderful, ceremony. So all in all, pretty fun afternoon. Uh, make sure you're following my Instagram for some photos and a little bit of a video as well. Other than that, life is a pretty big world right now. Um, a lot of stuff has been happening in the past week and a half, and I'm still trying to wrap my mind around everything. Week and a half, I finished working at the fruit stand, and I packed and packed, and then I came up to Boston um, and took my partner back with my subletter, who was wonderful. I started classes this past, technically this past Tuesday, but I didn't actually have a class until Wednesday. And everything seems to be shaping up pretty well, um, including my first time TFing, um, or being a teacher's fellow, a teacher's assistant for a course, uh, which I hope will go well. And in terms of my own personal course load, two out of my three courses I've met so far, one left tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., woof. Dancing for the summer wrapped up well. As you know, Nicole and I were practicing all summer to get ready for the season. We got new routines, uh, new technique, and all that other fun stuff too. We ended up attending smooth rounds almost every week of the summer as well to get our stamina up and to um, get some feedback from some coaches. So I think we're pretty well prepared for the season and for another year of the long distance partnership and hopefully that will go pretty well. Our first competition is going to be Princeton. So if anybody else is going to Princeton, make sure to leave a comment in the box below or send me a private message. I cannot wait to see everybody there. But yeah, this semester is going to be a little bit crazy for me in terms of all the stuff that I want to do. We want to compete at DCDI this year and actually make it this year instead of being precluded by Superstorm Sandy. And I also had another paper accepted for another conference. It's a graduate conference down in the University of Florida down at the end of October, so I'm going to be traveling for that too. Essentially two weekends in a row of, of non-stop traveling. I think I forgot to update about how my paper in July went at the Pacific Rim Roman Literature Seminar. Went really well. I um, based on the feedback that I was getting. And then I'm still working on that paper and hopefully I'll get it published. So in any case, that's just a quick update on my life. I just felt the need to do a vlog while I'm here in this hotel room to show that I'm a bit adventurous. Yay, I'm not just up in Boston. In fact, let's take a look at the, uh, the scenery out here. Are you okay? Yes, yeah, good for The lovely exotic Target is out there. Look at that. You don't find those up in the north, right? Let me tell ya. The Sprint store and all of that. Man, true southern style down here. But in any case, 
So as I've been mentioning, the semester's going to be a little bit crazy, so my upload schedule might get a little bit more erratic than it has been over the summer. But in any case, if you haven't seen the first part of the ballroom Q&A that I did with Jordan of Dangerous 2, make sure to click on this annotation up here for that. Part 2 is on its way, I promise. I'm just still editing and trying to figure out what should go into the video. And if you haven't yet taken a look at Jordan's channel, uh, make sure to take a look at the Pokemon video that we did over on his channel. As always, thank you for watching, and until the next time, bye!